Oh, wait. Let me just get my book because I have a poetry book. I have one poetry book. Let me get my book. I have my poetry book here. I've written a poetry book, people. <laughs> Praises to God. Holy Spirit inspired. Holy Spirit inspired. I have my poems in here. So let me get my poem. You see? I made this photo in California. I made it myself. So let me get my poem. The meaning of love. I should, I should be actually doing this more often. Share my poems with you guys. <laughs> it was one of the first poems that God inspired me to write when I gave my life to Christ. So, yes. Y'all listening? Y'all there? <laughs> so, it, sounds, it seems like you are a poet yourself too, Rick. You have some creative words there. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. So, okay. So, actually, I should share the testimony. The testimony is when I gave my life to Christ, God stirred, stirred up the gifts that was inside of me. And he was telling me that I had to take a pen and write. But I was constantly doing this, doing that. I was uh, working, I was studying, and I was actually, I wasn't having time. And I was constantly hearing the sweet voice of God, take a pen and start to write. Take a pen and start to write. But I was so busy, caught up in so many things, until one day, I heard God say very clearly and loudly, I'm not going to repeat myself. I am not going to say it again. And that moment, I run into the bookstore. I bought a pen and a notebook and I started to write. And that led to my first poetry book. Okay. So, this is one of the poems that God inspired me to write. The meaning of love. The meaning of love goes through my mind a thousand times a day. The searching of love goes through this world countless times in different ways. Who can say where it started and who can say where it ends? Long before we enter this world and long after we are gone, it seems to be it was already here long before we were here. The meaning of love goes through my mind a thousand times a day. Where did it start it and where does it end? Your spirit leads me through those pages to show me once again how it all began. On the sixth day when God created the world, he created you and me. He created us in his image and blessed us with his blessings. God created us to live in paradise, to be fruitful and increase in numbers. All of this he did out of love to live with us. But soon we started to disobey him. We started to, take, we started to run away while he could never walk away. We started to take control instead of surrender. We started to make our own decisions instead of trusting him to guide. Pride got in our way. Money and fame came to take control. Woo! Empty souls and the lie of what love is today is what is left behind. Tears of eyes that cannot see. Ears that cannot hear the truth about what love is supposed to be. Love was already here. 
It came to be born into this world to show unconditional love to each one of us. Love came to bring words of life and water for our dry and thirsty souls. Love came to be crucified and to wash all our sins away. Love came to lift the burden of our souls, to be wounded for our transgressions, to be bruised for our iniquities, so by his stripes we could be healed. Love came to be our shepherd, so we could be guided and not be lost in this darkened and blind world. Love came to be. Love wants to be. Love by us. The meaning of love. Hallelujah. <laughs> Gloria a Dios. The meaning of love. Yes. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life. John 3 verse 16. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. This is such a blessing. Thankful. 